Is it necessary to learn maths if I want to pursue a career in data science? I'm not good in maths. Can I still pursue a career in data science? How much maths do I need to learn if I want to pursue a career in data science? Why do I need to learn maths if I have the libraries like Scikit-Learn where I don't need to know what's happening under the hood and still uh, perform everything? Now, these questions might come into your mind when you think about data science or machine learning. So in this video, I'm going to clear all your doubts about uh, the use of maths in data science or machine learning and give you a clear idea about how much maths you need to learn if you want to pursue a career. Hello everyone, my name is Shivani Singh and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. <laughs> Mathematics is an essential part of data science. You may have applied it if you are working on some projects uh, while analyzing or cleaning your data. Maths is the heart of machine learning algorithms. You may have applied it using Python libraries like scikit-learn. But have you ever wondered like how these algorithms work internally, how the final result is being calculated? When you study machine learning in depth, then you will get to know that there's a lot of math involved in producing the final result. If we take example of RMSE, root mean square error is the preferred performance measure of regression models. Now RMSE measures the distance between the vector of predictions HXI and vector of target labels YI. It is the root of some of the squares of these distances. How do we do this on large arrays of data? All thanks to vector and linear algebra. Now I hope with this example, it's a little bit clear to see mathematics as a part of data science. Let's just start with the fields of mathematics that you're going to encounter while working on different algorithms in data science and where you will be using them. First, let's just start with basic mathematics. So if you have opted for maths in your 11th or 12th grade, you must be familiar with these concepts. You just need to recall them and see their implementation in your data science algorithm. Some of the mathematical concepts are like functions. You should be familiar with what is logarithmic function, exponential function, polynomial function. And the second point is like you should be familiar with basic theorems, geometry, trigonometry, and then what is real number, what is complex number, etc. And then you're good to go. Second is statistics. Why is this important? Statistics allow us to drive knowledge from large data sets and then this knowledge can be used to make predictions, decisions and classifications. Many companies are using statistics like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar. These companies are using movie recommendation systems where they do statistical analysis to gather what kind of movies you like, what kind of movies people like your age, your background like and then they recommend you movies and TV shows. You can also use statistics in weather forecasting, classification and time series analysis. You can analyze what will be the price of a stock in the upcoming days. Now these results are not 100% accurate and they might give you some wrong predictions as well. Statistics is about making a decision based on current trends. It tells you what should be done based on these particular data. Statistics is used in projects like medical research, stock market analysis, sales projection and weather forecasting. Mathematical concepts you should be familiar with. First one is data summaries and descriptive statistics, central tendency, variance, covariance, correlation, basic probability concepts, calculus, Bayes theorem. Then uh, you have sampling, you have measurement, you have error, you have random number generation, then hypothesis testing, A-B testing, and finally linear regression. Third one is linear algebra. Now it's really hard to imagine data science without linear algebra. It is used in a lot of algorithms, but you don't have to go in deep with these concepts. It is not expected from you to write them with your hands while solving a data science problem, but you should be familiar with like how the things work under the hood uh, so that you can make changes here and there and get the desired results. You already have used linear algebra if you have performed principal component analysis to reduce the dimensionality of your data. All neural network algorithms use linear algebra techniques to represent and process network structures and learning operations. Topics you should be familiar with are basic properties of matrix and vectors like scalar multiplication, linear transformation, transpose. Second one is inner and outer products, matrix multiplication rule, matrix inverse. Third one is matrix factorization concept, uh, LU decomposition, Gaussian, Gauss-Jordan elimination, solving AX equals to B, a linear system of equation. So these are the concepts that you have to make yourself familiar with in linear algebra. 
So the fourth one is calculus, properly called as analysis, is the branch of mathematics which deals with the rate of change of quantities which can be interpreted as slopes of curves and the length, area and volume of objects. The calculus is divided into two parts, differential calculus and integral calculus. So in differential calculus, we cut a large piece into small parts to see how it changes. And in integral calculus, we join the small pieces together to find out how much there is. Calculus, as I said before, is used for all, uh, most every algorithm in machine learning. A basic example that you must be familiar with is gradient descent. Gradient measures how much the output changes if you change the inputs a little bit. The topics that you should be familiar with are functions of a single variable, what is limit, continuity, differentiability. Second one is mean value theorems, indeterminate forms, L hospital rule, uh, what is maxima and what is minima. Uh, third one is beta and gamma functions. Fourth one is uh, functions of multiple variables, limit, continuity, uh, what is partial derivatives and finally basics of ordinary and partial differential equations. Finally, I want to talk about our fifth point that is discrete math. Now, if you're from an engineering background, you must have gone through this subject in your first year or second year. And it was pretty easy to understand and solve. Here we work with sets, subsets, basic proofing techniques like induction, proof by contradiction. Then we work with basics of inductive, deductive and propositional logic. We have seen the data structure concepts like stacks, queues graphs, arrays, hash tables. Then we have worked with graph properties like what is connected components, what is a degree and what is graph coloring. Then finally we cover this with ON notation concepts. Now this will be used in knowing how the system change when you increase the input data size. You need to understand what is the time and space complexity basically by understanding the big O notation concept. I hope now it's clear to you how much math is needed and what topics you should revise or make yourself familiar with. If you're an engineer, some of these topics are already covered in your college syllabus and for the rest of you, just get yourself familiar with the above mentioned topics and you're good to go. If you're an entry level data scientist, you don't have to do uh, practically do all these maths because uh, that's the area of expert data scientists, but you should know all these concepts. It's really important to know how things works under the hood and then you can find efficient solution to your data science problem. That's all for today's video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Geeks or Geeks. Please let me know if you want to see more data science related videos in the comment section below. Till then, bye bye.